What is up guys, Dave here from Three Point Slow Gang. On this episode, we got the 1981 Toyota pickup inside Jake's shop. And now we're gonna put a lift kit on it. Stay tuned. How you doing, John? You good? You brought the kid with in the back of your truck? Yeah, I did. <clears throat> and I told, I told Jake, like, I'm, I'm recording this right now. I'm gonna do it myself. Jake said he would help out, but I said I'll. I'll... It's pretty straightforward. Yeah, I saw it. It's just leaf springs and shocks. I think just one side with the gas tank that might be. The hardest part is gonna be getting those bolts out of the like actual leaf because like the bushing seizes up with it. Yeah. So we're gonna probably have to hit those out. Worst case scenario, like cut it out. Okay. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's super easy. Cool. So here it is, guys. Got it in the shop. Again, if you didn't watch the previous episode, I bought this 1981 Toyota pickup 4x4 from one of our subscribers and I couldn't say no to this. I couldn't pass on this vehicle, even though I kind of don't have, <laughs> I wasn't thinking of getting another project, but this is my dream truck. The early 80 trucks are just my favorite. Uh, and this one isn't too bad, too bad of a shape. But anyways, if you guys already watched the previous episode, we already talked about it. The, other, the thing I didn't talk about in the previous episode was the stuff that is basically not working on this truck so first off the motor uh, we don't know what's wrong with it so that's one two uh, leaf springs are pretty shot and I think on one side doesn't even have a leaf spring uh, drive shaft in the front as you can see it's not together the rear axle there's things here and there that that need to be fixed but the first thing I did and I'm gonna show you guys right now So I really didn't want to lift the truck. So I really didn't want to lift the truck at all. I really want to keep it stock, but finding leaf springs for the pickup were uh, it was kind of hard to find, and each leaf spring was just really expensive. So I had to opt out and buy the smallest lift kit I could find, three-inch Rough Country lift kit. So just leaf springs. And there's some stuff in here, the shocks and whatnot. Uh, so I'm gonna go with that. So it's gonna get new leaf springs, new shocks. So we'll get that taken care of. So at least the pickup can be on its feet for now. And then we're gonna look into see what's up with the motor. It's not scaly, it's just literally like, yeah, it's just like that dusty, that dusty rust. Yeah. So yeah, this is, this is definitely a West Texas truck from the looks of it. 
So where do uh, where do we get started first? Um, actually, we forgot to get the rear axle out of the bed, so we'll probably have to pull it back down. Or we can wait till we get this out and then go back down. Okay. So basically, we'll just start by we'll support this and then get the U bolts off. And then once we get the U bolts off, or we can just skip the U bolts and get just all go yeah go as the whole assembly and go from there. Okay. All right, guys, second day, we got Jake over here, and uh, we were working on the pickup last night, so we're gonna keep pushing now in the front, see what we can get done. All right, guys, a lot of y'all suggested uh, this truck uh, that we don't know what's up with the motor. It doesn't run. Uh, it seems like it's like locked up. Y'all suggested to drop like some of this marble mystery oil. And it's supposed to let it sit like overnight, right? Let it sit like for yeah, days. Yeah, days or however long yeah. until we get to it again. It's supposed to like kind of clean up the engine or something. Right? So, so, stick it. so that's, what's in there. that's what we're going to do right now. So yeah, just pull those spark plugs.
Alright guys, well we're done. You see with the pickup, we put that Marble Mistro in the motor and we're gonna let it sit there uh, for a few days or whenever we get back to the pickup. But for now, I mean, she can at least roll. So that's good because before it was a little sketchy. So on the rear, we threw the extra axle we had in the back. So that fixed that. And uh, we're missing some bushings. So I'm gonna place an order on some stuff. So because it's a little sketchy, let me show you. As you can see, it's a little sketch right here. Got a U-bolt here and then a little sketch in the rear. It's sitting a little off because the shackle here in the back, it's not the shackle. The, the original shackle, it's it's off of, uh, it was off my pickup, right? Yeah, saying? it's like a homemade like lift shackle or something. Yeah. So, but Jake right now, if you see the footage, while we're doing, we're taking the spark plugs out, found it inside the truck, yeah. some missing parts that we needed. So that's kind of good. Yeah, either way, uh, he needed the bushings, so we're not really down yeah. on any yeah, like, redoing yeah. work or anything like that. So for right now, it's just so you can roll in out of the shop, but once we get the bushings, then we'll go back in the front and finish that. But uh, that's it for now. I mean, that's uh, little by little, we, you know, getting things done. Now I could roll, that's good. We'll see what's up with the motor. That's the next step. But for now, we're gonna call it a day. That's enough for today, so. Yeah, now we just gotta clean it up. Uh, we also have a bench seat for it. Yeah. At the other shop, so we'll clean the inside, get that bench seat installed. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Little things, man. Little things. But anyways, uh, thank you for watching, guys. Stickers and patches right here in the link below. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.